On July 12, 2024, Disney released a spin-off film to the previous three in the Descendants franchise, Descendants The Rise of Red. In its first three days of streaming, it gained 6.7 million views on Disney+, Plus, making it Disney-branded television's most viewed premiere ever on the platform. It got a 50% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, while Descendants 3, released in 2019, was rated at 78%. But hey, we're not here to compare. Today's video is strictly about Descendants The Rise of Red. The story revolves around Red and Chloe, who must join forces to prevent a coup orchestrated by the Queen of Hearts by traveling back in time to stop the event that turned Red's mother into a villain. What do you think went on at Ordon Prep when the cameras went off? How do you think the actors were able to get into character? What do you think it feels like starring in a fantasy movie? Well, we're all about to find out because in the video, we're unveiling some behind-the-scenes moments from Descendants The Rise of Red. Descendants The Rise of Red features an uneven blend of familiar and new actors. Only two original Descendants stars return for the fourth installment, and they are China Ann McLean, who plays Uma, the daughter of Ursula, and Melanie Paxson, who plays Fairy Godmother. On the other hand, there is a long list of new characters in the franchise. Kylie Cantrell stars as Red, the daughter of the Queen of Hearts and Princess, of Wonderland. Malia Baker plays Chloe Charming, the daughter of Cinderella and Prince Charming, and sister to Chad Charming from Cinderella'sburg. Dara Renee takes on the role of Yulana, a villain kid and younger sister of Ursula, making her Uma's aunt. Rita Ora appears as the Queen of Hearts, Red's mother, and Brandy plays Cinderella. Lastly, Paola plays King Charming. Kylie Cantrell and Malia Baker had to pinch themselves a number of times before before getting used to the fact that they'd star in Disney's Descendants. They'd watched the first Descendants film when they were 9 and 10 respectively, so imagine the excitement they felt playing the major characters in the new movie. I'll introduce you to the Jabberwocky. What's a Jabberwocky? A monster that eats annoying girls. Nearly three decades ago, Brandy and Paola starred as Cinderella and Prince Charming in the 97 movie Roger and Hammerstein's Cinderella, and now here they are reprising their roles in Descendants The Rise of Red. The actors were excited at the opportunity to work side by side again after so many years. When asked about how they felt, this is what Brandy had to say. I loved working with Paolo when I was younger and working with him again has been amazing. I was so excited to put on the dress, to put on the crown, to put on the blue hair. It was so amazing to do that and to get that feeling of, wow, this is the 90s all over again. And his response said, I feel the same way. In many ways, I consider Brandy to be my formative years leading lady. And she became the template of what I look forward to in a leading lady. It's like no time has passed at all working with Brandy. I liken it to ice dance partners or lifelong duos. You have so much trust and faith in each other that you have the ability to soar when you're around them. And thank you, Brandy, for letting me soar just because you are there with me. Good to know that Descendants 4 was a reunion for Cinderella and Prince Charming. Oh, I mean, King Charming now. They are particularly thankful for this movie because it answered the question they had about Cinderella's happily ever after years ago. So this is love. Go. Rita Ora is another actor who is thrilled about her role in Descendants The Rise of Red. After months of preparation, including research and costume fittings, she embraced the challenge of playing a villain. And you know what? She enjoyed playing Queen of Hearts so much that she only wants to play villains henceforth. Her role as Queen of Hearts, she had to do a lot of homework, including studying the iconic villains like Helena Bonham Carter's Queen of Hearts, Charlize Theron, and Angelina Jolie. Creating her costume was a big project on its own. It required months of planning because it had to be arranged around her tour schedule. In her words, it's like layers on layers on layers. It looks big on camera, but but it was huge in person. The corsets were small and the crown was as heavy as, I don't know, like a car, and it was on my head all day. She wasn't the only person who struggled with her outfit though. Cantrell and Baker, who also had their share of wigs, boots, and jackets so tight that the buttons popped off. Good thing that when the camera started rolling, Rita Ora forgot about her discomfort and focused on being a queen. But here's something funny. The British singer isn't as tough as she thinks she is. 
after every scene where the Queen of Hearts is cruel to Cinderella, like when she stages a coup against Oridon, Rita Ora would apologize to Brandy. So behind the Queen's menacing and red presence, she was a sweet soul. Off screen, Ora would reassure Brandy that she didn't mean anything she said and that she loved her. She apologized so many times that Brandy had to tell her to stop, telling her she could do whatever she had to do well in character. You will all show me the respect I deserve. We got some one reason Rita Ora kept apologizing to Brandy is because she holds her in high esteem and Brandy is an actress and singer she looks up to. It was the same for many of the actors on the set of Descendants The Rise of Red. The actors respected and admired each other so much. Kylie Cantrell, who plays Red, was a little nervous to meet Rita Ora because she didn't know if she was the Queen of Hearts in real life. Thankfully, she wasn't. And when the two finally met, they bonded easily. It was the same for Malia Baker and Brandy. The first time Baker saw Brandy on set, she yelled, Is that my mom? And in response, Brandy shouted, My daughter! They walked up to each other and hugged. And throughout shooting, Brandy gave her on screen daughter advice about the movie industry and they held hands a lot. Isn't that cool? China Ann McLean said something in a behind the scenes interview about how Descendants is a never ending franchise because there are so many Disney princesses and villains. And the princesses and villains have children. There aren't enough movies to accommodate everyone. This just goes to show we are definitely getting another movie and we're getting it soon. There you have it. While there were a couple of villains in Descendants The Rise of Red off screen, everyone was cool and all the actors respected and admired everyone.